Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the mean ROM on your HTC Evo 4G LTE. Very excited to install this ROM. If you uh, remember, I believe it was on the Evo 3D. This ROM was there, um, possibly the Evo 4G as well. But uh, finally, uh, Mikey XDA has got this going on the Evo LTE. So let's go ahead and check it out. So first of all, you're going to need to make sure you are uh, your bootloader is unlocked. You do have a custom recovery installed. I recommend Twerp. So um, that is obviously prerequisites. You're going to need to make sure you have that. Also, um, actually go into settings on your phone and go to the power menu. So go ahead and select power and then uncheck fast boot. Um, that's just something that he recommends doing. So uncheck fast boot and we are ready to go. So what you can do now is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this site right here. Uh, as I said, big shout out and thanks to Mikey XDA for putting this ROM together for us. Um, you'll see Mead ROM ICS for Evo 4G LTE. The main goals uh, to be clean, mostly stock look and feel of uh, Ice Cream Sandwich Sense 4.0, uh, obviously to uh, have a lot of power, um, be quick, and to be nice as well. So what we're going to need to do is download the ROM. So go ahead and scroll down and you will see download right here. You will see the link to download uh, right there. Go ahead and click on it. It will take you to this site right here. Go ahead and select the latest zip file. So whatever is the latest at the point of this uh, video, it's version 2. So go ahead and select that zip, click on it, download it. As I said, it'll be a zip file. Transfer that zip file over to your device, um, internal or external storage. So transfer it on over and once uh, you've transferred it over, you're ready to go. Go back to your phone. Alright, and once we have that ROM zip on our phone, we are ready to go. We're going to need to get into our custom recovery. So what you can do is power off your device. Um, of course, we're going to need, need to go into our bootloader and then go ahead and uh, select recovery. So let this power off. All right, so now once our phone has powered off, we're going to need to get into our bootloader. To do so, what you need to do is press and hold volume down and power at the same time and keep it held down. Um, it should take you into the bootloader. Um, keep holding it. You got to just keep holding it down. And there you go. So as you can see, it takes me into my bootloader, volume down and power, um, and here we go. So once in our bootloader, what we are going to need to do is use the volume button. So you'll see uh, recovery, press volume down once until it highlights recovery, then press the power button to select it. It should say tampered and unlocked up at the top. That lets you know that you do have an unlocked bootloader. Of course, you're gonna need a custom recovery as well, which this will boot into now. As I said, I recommend Twerp Team Win Recovery let that load on up and here we go so now let's go ahead and install this rom first of all what i recommend doing is making a nandroid backup so go to the backup menu and swipe to backup that is the first thing i highly recommend doing especially if you don't have an android backup on your device that is always recommended to have uh, but once you make that android backup you're ready to go go to the wipe menu and do a factory reset uh, again this is going to wipe everything so make sure you have everything backed up via titanium backup or any other of those apps all your apps contacts etc will be wiped so go ahead and hit swipe to wipe this will as i said do a factory reset it's not going to touch your internal storage or external storage it'll only touch the phone storage uh, the phone memory, such as your apps and contacts, etc., not your pictures. But anyways, once done there, hit back, and then go ahead and wipe your cache, and swipe to wipe that. Go ahead and let that wipe as well, and hit back, and then wipe Delvic cache, and swipe that, and hit back. And once done there, we are ready to go. Now what we can do is go ahead and hit install, and then go ahead and find that ROM zip that we uh, have put on our phone. It's called mean ROM right there, so find that mean ROM zip file, select it, and again, double check and make sure you selected the correct zip file. And once you've uh, double checked that, hit swipe to confirm to flash. And there we have it. So now the ROM is going to go ahead and install. It'll take a bit of time, so make sure you are patient with uh, this process. Um, but otherwise, uh, be patient with it. I'll be back once it's done installing. All right, as you can see, successful. Our ROM is done installing. Now just hit reboot system. And it's going to go ahead and reboot our device. Um, and once booted up, we will be running that mean ROM on our HTC Evo 4G LTE. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation if there's a custom one at all. I'm not positive. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to be doing a separate review video of this ROM, so definitely be sure to check it out. Um, I will link to it in the description of the video, so make sure you watch that. But anyways, let's go ahead and let this reboot should boot on up. The first boot up will take a bit longer than usual. Subsequent boot up should take shorter amounts of time. 
And it does have a custom boot animation. Nice. A custom Mean Rom ICS boot animation. Very awesome. So there you have it. You do have a custom boot animation. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.